dear brothers and sisters in Christ, today, during this Friday in the Passion Week, we celebrate the Feast of Our Lady's Seven Sorrows. Our Lady as co-redemptrix, participating in the Passion of our Lord Jesus Christ. We believe, in fact, that since an, a very ancient uh, belief and tradition that uh, Our Lady took part in the Passion of Christ in a very unique manner, so as to be able to offer together with Christ the price of our salvation. This union of the mother with the son is made possible by the fact that it is Jesus uniting to himself his mother, and uh, in this union there is already the prefiguration of any other Christian, uh, any other collaboration of Christians who are called by grace to also be actively present and collaborating in Jesus' passion. Our Lady sets an example for us, this example of a unique compassion, unique collaboration. Later in the centuries, in the tradition, this compassion, cum patior, to suffer with, has been also defined as co-redemption. We have to wait until the 17th century to find precisely this definition, co-redemption, but whose content is ancient, whose content is Our Lady's participation in the Passion of our Lord. Co-redemption does, doesn't mean that Our Lady is equal to Jesus. That prefix, co, means with. Our Lady is with Jesus, together with him, but under him, made associated with that mystery by the grace of Christ, called to collaborate by Christ. As I said, to prepare anyone else's collaboration with our Lord. This uh, compassion and co-redemption of Our Lady is well outlined in this beautiful Stabat Mater that we just sang, the sequence of this special Mass. I just want to point out a few verses of this uh, sequence written by Jacopon of Todi, a Franciscan friar, who uh, wanted to outline the special participation of Our Lady in the moment of Jesus' redemption, the very summit of his redemption, which is Calvary. Especially when we look at uh, verse 11 and followings, we see that uh, very uh, close union of our Blessed Mother with Jesus. And we pray to Our Lady to be made able by her to be ourselves in that position at the foot of the cross spiritually, to bear with her the wounds of Christ <clears throat> in our own flesh. For example, we pray this way, let me share with thee his pain, who for all our sins <clears throat> was slain, who for me in torment, in torments died. <clears throat> Let me mingle tears with thee, mourning him who mourned for me all the days that I may live. By the cross with thee to stay, there with thee to weep and pray is all I ask of thee to give. This might be also today our prayer to our blessed Mother Mary 
to enter with her this uh, holy week at hand and to be with Jesus during his passion and death. We know that the best way to celebrate Holy Week and this Holy Triduum is to be with Jesus, present in his passion, to be actively present by compassioning of our Lord, by offering what we can ourselves to him for the salvation of many other people. Today, we turn to our blessed mother, our mother Corridemtrix, to ask for this particular grace. Let me be, stay always close to you, my dear mother, to understand the suffering of Jesus, to bear his passion in my flesh, in my life, and uh, to become, in doing so, an instrument of salvation for many other people. And uh, let us also, especially today, pray the Rosary of the Seven Sorrows, to be with Our Lady in her compassion, close to Jesus our Savior. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, 